I am Hilary Hahn, and I am here with... Jeff Myers. <laughs> and where are you right now? I'm in Honolulu, Hawaii, in my and, apartment. And it's daytime, right? Yeah, yeah, the sun's kind of going down. I'm on the East Coast, and it's it's about midnight. And right. um, I wanted to let people know that you are the grand prize winner of the contest for the Encores, the big project I've been doing with 27, so you're the 27th. And I'm really excited about it. And I wanted to give you a chance to talk about your piece a little bit, introduce it. Okay. Yeah, my piece is called The Angry Birds of Kauai. And it was kind of inspired by getting woken up very early in the morning many times in Hawaii, especially in Kauai, where I was on vacation for a weekend one time. And uh, just the sound of multitudes of birds squawking and singing and stuff all, all in the morning kind of inspired me to write this uh, piano, violent piano version of the same kind of sound world where you have all these different bird sounds uh, clashing all at the same time. And uh, the piece is set up like an encore. It's kind of short and it has a big climax and, and stuff like that. But the uh, actual material is, is kind of treated like a variations set. So there's like a bird theme, bird song theme in the beginning. And that gets treated to uh, all these different kind of modifications as the piece goes along. Um, it's still relatively short, though, so there's maybe like four variations or something that it goes through. I really like how it how it develops, and I don't think it sounds necessarily like a bird piece. But when I, because I didn't know that it was about birds right. when I got it, because I didn't know the title, because I made sure everything was anonymous. And then um, once I, once. I saw what the title was, I was like, oh, that, you know, that makes a lot of sense. And then, um, hearing you talk about it just now, you know, I just, I realize that there actually is a lot more structure to it than just birds, but the bird thing is, is obviously, you know, noticeable throughout. But do you think that bird stuff translates well into violin? Well, a violin is able to do a lot of kind of really fast tremolo kind of sounds that birds make, and mm -hmm. it can do... Depending on how it's uh, how the gesture is written, they can do these really fast articulations, and they can do kind of high fluty sounds with harmonics and stuff like that. So I think it's it's pretty well adept for making bird-like sounds. I think uh, piano has a little hard time sometimes, <laughs> and there's some challenges with that. But it, it uh, I think violin has the capability that it can do all these weird little articulations, these really quick gesture articulations pretty well. Uh, and it's like what you said, it doesn't necessarily have to be thought of as sounding like birds. I mean, it didn't take actual bird song. It was more like the idea of the gestures that came in, into my mind when I thought about birds. And uh, that kind of just gave me ideas to come up with my own music, I guess. And how would you say, um, well, was it was it an easy piece to write? Was it Challenging. How are you? How did you feel about the like keeping it in the encore time frame? Well, that was okay. Uh, I'm used to writing. I, I've written a lot of pieces that are in movement, and they have short movements, like two, three minutes, and stuff. Mm -hmm. And it, it also is good because it gives me a trajectory to shoot for. And for a shorter piece, that it's a little bit easier to reach that trajectory. If I'm writing like a 20 minute piece, sometimes it's easy to get lost. You know, 10 minutes in, not really know how to keep it going or something. But with a short piece, it's, it's relatively easy to map out a few sections and break it in, usually break it down into smaller bits and put them together. So it was easy with this kind of variations idea where I was thinking, here's the theme and then here's another variation and so forth. Even if it's not exactly written, like here's variation one, two, three, but that's how I conceived of it and it helped me to construct the piece, I, I suppose, in a more uh, efficient way. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you'd like people to know about it? Just about the origins, inspiration, anything like that? Um, what is kind of funny is that it has Angry Birds in the title. And I actually, after I wrote the piece, because I knew about the game, but I never played it. So after I wrote the piece, I got the game, downloaded it, and I got totally addicted. And I kept playing every <laughs> single level. And then after I beat every level, then I wanted to go back and try to get three stars on every single level, which I haven't, I haven't done that yet. But it's pretty addictive. I think you kind of rule all the other people who have um, gotten addicted to the game because you wrote a piece that references <laughs> it. I don't think a lot of people could do that. 
They might be disappointed that the Angry Birds theme song isn't in it, but that would probably cost too much. So. Maybe you wrote a new one. Yeah. Who knows? No, I think it's I think it's a fantastic piece. And thank you very much for writing it, and I'm really looking forward to playing it. So. Yeah, thanks. Thanks so much for taking the time to go through my piece too. I mean, that's really great. So, yeah. Yeah, my pleasure. Very happy. It was a great one to study, so I think it'll be a really good one to uh, to learn and to play, and we'll be in touch throughout that whole process. So, great. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye.